What's going on YouTube? Geosno right here. So in today's video I have even more great news for those of you waiting for the iOS 14.5, 14.5.1 and 14.4 jailbreak, especially on the A12, A13 and A14 devices, but not only. This video is brought to you by AppTrans, a software that allows you to transfer for free the applications from a device to another. You can also back up your WhatsApp conversations and so on. Check it out in the link below. It's available on the iMobi website for free. So as you probably know, the iOS 14.6 was released by Apple two days ago and really I made a video yesterday about it talking about the kernel vulnerabilities in here and as you can see there are quite a few including one from EMB of Google Project Zero and that was massive because of course we can use it for Uncover or Torin and it's very very likely it's going to get released because usually Google Project Zero releases their kernel vulnerabilities it just takes a few weeks but in this video we have even more great news coming from the security log of iOS 14.6 apparently there is a new vulnerability here that was patched by Xerob. So for those of you who are unaware, Xerob is a security researcher in our community. Many of the things he built we use in jailbreaks and of course that's actually quite great. But if you check it out here, there is a vulnerability by Xerob in security. It says processing a maliciously crafted certificate may lead to arbitrary code execution. And apparently it's a problem in the ASN.1 decoder, which is pretty interesting because according to Xerob, this is actually a pretty serious vulnerability. They say quote, CVE 2021-307 37, which is this one here on the security, is pretty bad. Please update a SAP. So for those of you who are into, you know, security and stuff like that, you want to keep your device more secure and you don't really care about jailbreaking, yes, iOS 14.6 is definitely a better choice at this point because it's much less vulnerable and of course they do recommend it here to update. However, if you're planning to jailbreak, you should definitely not update because of course you're going to lose the vulnerabilities and you wouldn't be able to jailbreak anymore. But we do get more information about this vulnerability by Zerob. They try to keep it secret for now because it's still not released but Teamstar, another security researcher in our community who I think works with the Taurine and the Odyssey team, posted quote, in my opinion most interesting CVE of today's release and they're talking about this one by Zerob. No clue what it is but I wish I had the time and motivation to diff and check. If anyone does please let me know. And apparently Zerob responded to this tweet because apparently Teamstar thought that it's basically a throwaway bug but Zerob said quote, not even close. When you'll see it, it will make your head spin. For now, it's still under self-embargo to be released likely this summer. So it looks like we will get this vulnerability released by Xerob. Xerob is actually a very good security researcher, one of the best in our community. So I have no doubt that this vulnerability is indeed something major. And if you pair it with all the kernel vulnerabilities that are in here, from Linus Hensi, from Airy, from Anonymous Researchers, from EM Beer, and so on. And then if you go ahead and check out the WebKit vulnerabilities patched in 14.6, you can realize that it's pretty damn vulnerable. And that is of course the perfect ground to build a jailbreak, either to update Uncover or the Torin jailbreak or start a jailbreak from scratch, though I don't think that would be very feasible nowadays with two great jailbreaks already existing. But that's not the only problem Apple has. If you remember 14.5 was released on April 26 and as you can see it also has a ton of vulnerabilities. Every single entry here is a different vulnerability, so you can see that between the 14.5 5, which is this one here, which has a lot of vulnerabilities, and 14.6, which again has a lot of vulnerabilities as well, many of which can be used for a jailbreak, you can see that Apple did not have a very good couple of months in terms of security, neither with 14.4, 14.4.2, 14.5 or 14.5.1, because as you can see, there are a lot of vulnerabilities, many of which are usable for jailbreak purposes. So if you're waiting for a jailbreak, there is no better time to stay on 14.5.1, 14.5 or 14.4 than now. The worst mistake you can do right now is to update the 14.6. I said it in my previous video but I don't think I can say it enough to send a clear message. Do not update the 14.6. If you do, you screw up your chances to jailbreak as soon as possible. Don't worry if you did already though, because iOS 14.5.1 is still signed. So if you want to downgrade, you can definitely download the IPA file and of course restore your device. But do that before 14.5.1 gets unsigned. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. I am GSNow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.